A successful marriage does not just happen, it is built. This quarreling is to eliminate the little love that remain. We've been married for three years and then we found ourselves clashing all the time. Only bad thing you see that she's doing, she too, she cannot see anything good you are doing, only bad thing she, she can see. Eh? That's very true. So, are you married or? Yes, I You're am. You're married? Yes. Is he padre menos? No. If care is not taken, you will not be married for, for long. And then you will not be married for long. Because I see Satan is attacking your marriage. Because I see Satan is attacking your marriage. Because I see Satan is attacking your marriage. It's as if there is no understanding anymore. It's as if there is no understanding anymore. Where's your wife? Uh, she's back in Spain. Who is she? She's back in Spain. Yes. So, this quarreling, 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 you know, disagreement. Yes. Every couple they have some kind of disagreement, but this one is different. All of the zevgari have differences, but this one is different. This one is to eliminate the the little love that remain. It is to destroy the little love that remains. You hear what I say? Yes, I understand what you say. When you started, the love was big. Όταν ξεκινήσατε, yes. η αγάπη ήταν μεγάλη. But gradually, the love started, you know, small, 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 small. Αλλά σταδιακά μειώθηκε. Reducing. Yeah. And now this quarreling has come, the disagreement, as an attack from Satan. So you cannot see anything good. Only bad thing you see that she's doing. Yeah. She too, she cannot see anything good you are doing. Only bad thing she, she can see. Και αυτή τσακομή... That's very true. Eh? That's very true. Και αυτή τσακομή ήρθαν yes. από τον Σαντανά ώστε να βλέπετε μόνο το κακό ο ένας τον άλλον, ό,τι κακό solution, κάνετε. The solution to this is just prayer. Η λύση είναι η προσευχή. So I want to join you in a prayer. Θα προσευχηθώ μαζί σου. Thank you. Okay? Yes. Για να σωθεί ο γάμος σου. So, in the mighty name of Jesus. Στο παντοδύνο μόνο με τον Ιησού. Father, let your mercy and favor speak for him and for his marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, manifest your strength in his weakness. Φανέρωσε τη δύναμή σου στην αδυναμία του. In his limitations. Στους περιορισμούς του. In his shortcomings. Στο πεσογύρισμα του. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Στο παντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Establish your kingdom in his heart, in his soul, spirit and body. Father, strengthen this marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Πατέρα, ενδυνάμωσε αυτό το γάμο στο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Fill this marriage with your love. Γέμισε το γάμο αυτό με την αγάπη σου. In Jesus' name. Στο όνομα του Ιησού. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So you will see if you continue to pray for your relationship with your wife. Yes. You will see that from now it will start increasing the love. It will get better and better and better. Amen. So you have to to do something about it, eh? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Αν προσέφιεσαι για τη σχέση σου, θα σε γεμίσει αγάπη ο Θεός. So this is how many people divorce today. Έτσι χωρίζουν πολλοί άνθρωποι σήμερα. Because they think. Love just comes. Πιστεύουν ότι η αγάπη απλώς έρχεται. No, God is love. Ο Θεός είναι αγάπη. If you don't ask God to visit you, αν δεν ζητήσεις το Θεό να σε επισκεφτεί, how do you expect the love of God to πώς, fill you? Πώς περιμένεις την αγάπη του Θεού να σε γεμίσει; hmm? So you can see, it, love does not just happen. Βλέπετε, η αγάπη δεν έρχεται έτσι απλά. A successful marriage does not just happen. Ένας πετυχημένος γάμος δεν έρχεται έτσι απλά. It is built. Χτίζεται. Tell your neighbor a successful marriage. Πέσω διπλανός ο ένας επιτυχημένος γάμος. Does not just happen. Δεν συμβαίνει έτσι απλά. It is built. Χτίζεται. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Lucas Frank, and I'm coming from Spain, originally from Kenya. Well, it was actually a wonderful experience. The service was uplifting. That's one word that struck me. And uh, on the prayer line, yes, the man of God gave a prophecy and uh, it was regarding my marriage. You know, um, we've been going through a rough patch in our marriage. And uh, so when the man of God prophesied about it, he he was actually right on point, you know. He mentioned that uh, a marriage 
is under spiritual attack. We keep finding mistakes, you know, in each other and everything. And so that was correct, actually. The prophecy was correct. It also surprises us. Why are we clashing? You know, we end up arguing about, uh, you know, there are times we, we used to agree on places to go or activities to do together. But then because of uh, what we don't understand, we end up not agreeing anymore on where to go or things to do or just uh, their conversations that you know, we end up not having, or if we have them, you know, it's contentious, you know. We've been married for three years, and uh, we noticed from the beginning that we'd faced different attacks since we met their friendships that really just ended, you know, on my side uh, without knowing why you know, and also um, when we uh, visited uh, the country where I was born, uh, we experienced a lot of uh, negative reaction, you know, which was really unusual and very distressful for us. And upon uh, moving to Spain, as time went by, we also started experiencing um, where we lived before, we started experiencing, um, you know, people who lived around us. They were very, very aggressive against us. And uh, so that too was some. And then we found ourselves clashing all the time too. And it was at a time when I was going through an illness and treatment. And so it was everything all at the same time. I mean, we are a good team. We still work very well together. But yes, these moments of difficulty, I think there's forgiveness that has not happened along the way. And so that, you know, does affect the bond that we have. I think in the past uh, maybe few months, we've really focused on on each other's mistake. I th I'd say more on me than her, but yes, I think, uh, you know, to speak for myself, I've, you know, it's almost, uh, I keep just seeing mistakes all the time and uh, along the way, I don't feel good about it, you know. How does this encouragement make you feel in terms of your personal uh, investment and effort in mm -hmm. this relationship? Um, it actually makes me feel that the Lord is actually inside our marriage and he cares enough to want to join us together through prayers, through just to rescue, to rescue our relationship. Yes. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you too. God bless uh, you. God bless you too.